Hello, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson, and we have got a great show ahead for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. An all-time favorite, Grease, the musical, will be showing this December at the Visual and Performing Arts Center at Hilton Head High School. The musical, set in 1959 at Rydell High School, follows 10 working-class teenagers as they navigate the complexities of love, cars, and drive-ins. Promises to be a great holiday treat for the whole family. Joining us now, Caroline Coffin, who will be representing Sandy, and Chase Dillon, who will be playing Danny, to tell us what we can expect from this fun production. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I love Grease. I mean, <laughs> it's my one of my all-time favorite movies, and there's just so much, so much in it. You know, not only you have the acting and the great actors and the dancing and the music. I mean, it's just a fun, fun show. It so is. what what will you be doing to make the production special? Well, um, we are going to be having a band actually called Flashback that's going to be playing 50s music um, before the show and during intermission. Um, so they'll be up there and hopefully we'll have some people dancing in the aisles and everything. Yeah. Make it really exciting. That's yeah, fun. That'll be really fun. So uh, what, what do you, like your role as Sandy, I mean, do you find yourself really portraying the Sandy in the movie or is it, ha are you guys doing a different representation of the movie, you know, versus the movie? Right. Um, actually, I, I found that I'm trying not to be Olivia Newton-John. Um, our director, Mr. Mercer, has not allowed us to watch the movie and told us to be <laughs> as far from John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John as possible. So who are you? <laughs> if you're not them, who are, who are you? What are you representing? <laughs> uh, I think it's just our single uh, representations of the character, since it is a musical and it doesn't follow exactly the plot of the movie, the famous movie, I think it leaves up to the interpretation of the actor to kind of see how we should portray them rather than exactly how one person or another did. So how many students are actually going to be in the in the production? 45? Yeah, give or take. Wow, including, that's, um, that's quite a few. All the tech and um, all the backstage people and then of course all the actors and all the people that are helping build sets mm -hmm. and everything. So. How long have you guys been practicing? Since about the start of school. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so we're really... Wow, yeah. You're, you're, yeah, you're really fine-tuned yeah. for this. So you, will, you be, will you be <laughs> dancing as well? I mean, will you be doing oh. some of the dances? And yeah, I, I mean, was that, that, that had to be a little bit difficult. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, even though you're not John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, <laughs> yeah. you certainly have to have, you know, be able to step up into those positions. Right. So that's a little difficult. It yeah. has been, I, I know. I bet, the, I bet the practicing has been a little rigorous <laughs> at times. Yeah. <laughs> well, with great directors like Mr. Mercer and different dance instructors and stage managers all doing their job really well, it starts to boil down not only to us, but like everyone can just learn their parts. And it, it seems to be going pretty well so far. And good, good. So why Greece? Why now? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's just such a fun musical. I know Mr. Mercer had talked about um, doing it towards the end of last year, and we were all really, really excited, and we heard Grease, and we were like, yeah, let's do it. And so it actually all panned out, and we got the contract in and everything, so everybody was really excited when we found out that that was what we were doing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fun. So uh, the show is, uh, is it, has it started? Has it begun? Not yet. Um, Not yet. Okay, so tell me about the dates sure. and times and things like that. Um, we open Thursday, December the 13th um, and run until the 16th with shows on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 7.30 and a Sunday matinee at 2 o'clock. And so if people are looking to get more information, find out where the ticket sales are, how do they get that information? Um, normally you can either contact the school, Mr. Mercer, or we have different flyers and things set up around school area that'll show the information dates times prices things like that yeah so uh do you so so the actual band that you have is, are they a local band i'm, I'm not familiar with i them. believe so yes, they are a local band mm -hmm. and so you guys will have that starting the so that'll be at the beginning and right. at the intermission yes, and and throughout the show you'll have is it the actual will that be the band that will be playing during the whole play or or is it an orchestra? They're different. Um, so we have, we have the band that's going to be before and in the middle of the show, and then we have a student band that Mr. Mercer is a part of as well that's going to be um, the music for the actual production. So as far as your role as Sandy, what do you, what do you, how have you made it a little different? Um, I feel like I've made Sandy my own, just making her a little bit more timid than she was in the movie. I feel like um, Sandy Dombrowski in the film had a little more strong rebel moments. Um, and 
I feel like delaying those kind of gives Sandy more time to develop throughout the throughout the course of the story, you know, interacting with people who really aren't very nice to her at all, um, and trying to figure out, you know, what Danny's all about and the way he's going to treat her. Um, so I think just kind of delaying her outbreak as a woman and as a kind of a bad girl in the end. How about Danny? What, what have you done a little bit different? Um, I haven't, I've been trying to go as far away from the uh, John Travolta role as possible. Um, I'm still trying to get the accent down, things like that. <laughs> But I've been trying to accentuate more so the kind of attitude that he shows towards Sandy rather than to his pals and friends. Um, there's always those moments that he's talking to Sandy and then he sees his friends behind him, so he has to kind of switch back into that mode. So I've been trying to accentuate his emotional side rather than his more like rough and tough kind of punk side yeah. more so. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Well, it should be a great show. And again, <laughs> um, we're looking at December 3rd. 13th through the 16th, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And it's at the VPAC, which mm -hmm. is the Visual and Performing Arts Center at Hilton Head. And um, you've got uh, evening performances at 7.30 and then the, the matinees at 2 o'clock. Yes, ma'am. And uh, adults, students, anybody welcome. Yeah. The and whole family. <laughs> the whole family. What a fun family event. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Well, thank you and good luck. And, thank you uh, so much. What do they say? Break a leg? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.